gentlemen, introducing our 2010 California Wrestling Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Dave Rottenberg. His presenter is his Chico State coach, Mr. Armand Brett. Armand was also inducted into the Hall of Fame for the class of 2005. Dave Rottenberg started wrestling at Crawford High School in San Diego and attended San Diego Mesa Community College where he was a state placer. He attended Chico State where he lettered twice and was an NC2A Division II National Qualifier. While at Chico State, Dave was recognized as a very dedicated student of the sport of wrestling. He was called the record book Rottenberg by his coaches and teammates because Dave could remember match results from around the country and many years into the past. Dave began his coaching as an assistant at Chico State in 1978 and while spending the last 23 of his 31 years in coaching as a teacher coach at Red Bluff High School, he has amassed the following. Dave has coached 118 North Section CIF placers, 23 North Section CIF champions, eight state placers, two state finalists, one state champion, one All-American, 122 freestyle Greco state placers, 24 freestyle national qualifiers, and four freestyle Greco All-Americans. In addition, Dave has coached 10 league championship teams, four North Section CIF champ Masters championship teams. His dual meet record is 220 wins, 53 losses, and two ties. In addition, his 2007 team set the all-time North Section CIF record with 231 points. Aside from coaching, Dave has served with distinction on many North Section CIF statewide and national wrestling committees. He received many Coaches of the Year awards, including CIF State Coach of the Year in 2005, and he was a finalist for National Coach of the Year in 2006. Ladies and gentlemen, inducted into the 2010 California Wrestling Hall of Fame, Mr. Dave Rottenberg. Well, I was asked uh, during the interview, people that influenced me, and I guess, you know, as they say talk about yourself, don't talk about other people here, but I, I, I think that for most of us, we'd agree that uh, we're kind of shaped by the people that we've come in contact with. My, in my life, the first wrestling fanatic I uh, ran into was a guy who's part of this Hall of Fame. In fact, most of these people I talk about are either in the Hall of Fame or maybe even in this room, but um, this little round guy with the megaphone down there at Lincoln High School and San Diego, Ivan Olson. Um, he brought me in and he, there, he didn't seem like there was anything special, but there was something about him, his passion for the sport that drew other people into that room and wanted to be there. And I got to wrestle with some pretty special guys. Um, the next guy in my life uh, was my coach at San Diego Mesa College, Chief uh, Al Walker. Um, he was a totally self-sacrificing guy. He loved his wrestlers and he loved the sport. Um, back in those days, uh, USIU didn't have a uh, wrestling facility, so he said, hey, you guys can come and work out with us every day. And uh, it was tough on them, but I got to work out with guys like Joe Tice, Tom Tomlinson, uh, Jim Steiger, Rick Goward and got to watch them every day. I got to hang around with guys that were passionate about the sport and I got more and more hooked into it. Um, as I said, I, I placed in the state my uh, second year there and I can remember my, my girlfriend, who's now my wife, came to my job and said, hey, there's some guy from uh, someplace up in Chico. He's uh, asking if you want to come up and visit. And that's kind of where a lot of things started. And, and Armand Brett was right here is definitely a big impact on me. He was my coach, and later when they dropped the program there, he came and was my assistant for many years. He he had a systematic way of of organizing training and technique that just made sense to me. Um, but I think the thing that he brought to me more than anything else was don't expect 100% out of your wrestlers if you're not willing to give that same 100%. Um, after a few years, I ran into another guy who's in this room getting inducted today, and, and, and that's Denny Helms. He asked me to come up and work at Paradise High School, and after watching him for a season, I didn't really think that high school wrestling was my niche, but after watching him and the effect that he had on kids, I knew that that's what I wanted to do. He worked so hard, but it seemed so natural. 
It was obviously a labor of love. And the thing about him, you never had any doubt about his intentions and integrity. And he, one thing he taught me was, don't compromise your long-time credibility for short-term success, which is uh, easy to do when you're looking for wins. Once I got to Red Bluff, it was my first real job. I quickly found myself uh, chairman of everything. I'm sure it was part of some of these older coaches saying, give it to the young guys. He's got more time and more energy. But it did give me the opportunity to observe a lot of different people and a lot of good leadership, some good, some bad, or less good. Um, but the thing I think I've found in Red Bluff is the people that I've run into. I think and that's what we'd all say. It's the people we run into. Um, one guy's here, my longtime assistant, Brett Southwick. He's, a, he's been great. He's the only uh, assistant coach to ever get Northern Section Coach of the Year awards. And it's wonderful sharing your passion with somebody who shares your passion. Um, and it's an honor to be here. But if we weren't here, we'd both be down there in Placentia. We're now a, won the Greco State Championships down at the Association Duels. <laughs> but um, I still love wrestling. I still love being around wrestling. I love about being a parents. I've been really blessed with a lot of great parents. Some are here today. We would set up a tournament, and we'd be set up for 30 minutes. I say, go home. We'll get together tomorrow, but because uh, they just love hanging out together. But I think in the end, it's about the kids. Coaches may get into uh, wrestling for a lot of different reasons, but in the, the ones that are stay, it's about the kids. You always want to see that last kid through his career, and then there's that freshman. Um, I got this kid, he's 12 right now. I'm going to wait him, see him through his career. My folks came up from San Diego. I got to thank them. Um, my wife kept reminding me before I was a coach, I was a man, and I was a father, and I was a husband. And my folks, if they did one thing for me, they, they showed me that a, uh, a Christ-centered marriage is, is the most, without that, no success, no awards, no anything means anything. And then my wife, Nancy, who's here also, she was, uh, she's my greatest fan and my biggest supporter. Um, without them, I, and without any of these people, I wouldn't be who uh, you see standing before you, uh, minus the tux. So <laughs> thank you for this honor. It really is a great honor. I understand when people say this is a humbling experience um, because it really, it's, it's a great honor, and I thank you. Perfect.